everyone, welcome back. So this time we're actually going to try an example with couple moments. There's awesome things where we have two forces opposite direction but equal in magnitude um, acting on some object. So what you see right here is we have two couples acting on this beam. Now this is static, so that beam is in equilibrium, which means they have to cancel each other. We're going to use that fact to then calculate the force that we don't understand. Now looking at this, um, Oh, actually it says the moment it's going to be 1.5 kilonewmeters clockwise. So we're actually calculating the results in a couple moments. And then that will be taken care of right here by this bracket. So 1.5 kilonewmeters clockwise. Okay, clockwise. Be very careful about this. But if you can't figure it out, just draw an arrow and then go back to the forces. You can see what it's going like that. I just draw an arrow tracing the path. So right here. And then it goes back down. So one of these is counterclockwise, and the other one is clockwise. Just follow the path of the force, and then curve back down so you can follow the path of the other force to figure out what direction it's going to be turning it. Okay, so how are we going to do this? Well, we're going to add the two couples. We're just going to calculate the couple for each of them. Um, what we'll have to do is just algebraically because we don't have the actual value here. And we're going to equate this and say, well, that's all going to equal 1.5 kilonewton meters clockwise, and then solve for f. So pause, go try it on your own and then come back and watch the solution if you get stuck. So, three, two, one. Okay, hopefully by this point you have gone and tried it out and now we can do it together. So first things first, you have to realize it's pretty easy to see in this case, but some cases won't be so easy. The forces that are parallel make the moment or make the couple moments. So I don't add this one with this one. That's just not gonna work. I don't do this one and this one. I do the forces that are per are parallel to each other. So with that in mind, I have two kilonewtons at a distance of 0 0.3 meters, force times distance. And I have a force at a distance of 0 0.9 meters, force times distance. And I can add those together. Second thing you need to realize is that one of these is counterclockwise, and that one is clockwise. Usually um, counterclockwise is considered positive, um, but you can decide whichever one you want to be positive. Just make sure that you don't forget that sign always mess you up. So some moments, in this case I'm going to say that counterclockwise is positive. And so I have negative f times 0 0.9 because that is turning it clockwise plus 2 times 0 0.3. That's the 2 kilonewtons, the 0 0.3 meters. I add all of that together um, and I have a little equation which is equal to my sum of moments. Which the problem statement said was going to be equal to one, negative 1 and a half kilonewton meters. Now it said 1 and a half kilonewton meters so be very careful you don't forget that negative sign because it said one half kilonewmeters clockwise. And I've said that counterclockwise is positive, so I have to change that sign. Um, it's one of those really big and important things. You have to make sure you're careful with your signs. Otherwise, things will go horribly, 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 horribly wrong. So if I do that, I solve for the force, and I get 2.33 kilonewton meters. As a note, if you mess up on this, you won't notice most likely that there's an issue because a couple moments don't have any effect on your sum of forces in the x or y direction. There's no other equation that will say like, oh, this isn't the equilibrium anymore, you've made a mistake. Um, so you have to be careful with that sign. But with that, we're done. That is all you have to do for this scalar approach. It's just a force times a distance. So if you can see that perpendicular distance or perpendicular distance to the line of action with a fairly easy angle, use it. It's going to be pretty easy to do. If not, then we'll use the vector approach, which we'll go over next. So I hope that this helps you. Remember, a couple moments, forces, that they're parallel, um, but in opposite direction with equal magnitude, separated by some perpendicular distance. Force times distance, and you've got it. Oh, I'll see all of you next time as we try out the vector approach. Have a good day. Bye-bye.